Hey guys, so today I'm filming this look for you. Um, it is a gold bronze summer look and I say gold because, sorry my hair is a mess, because I am wearing a gold glitter from Eye Candy. It's the caramel apple glitter and I'm wearing this bronze uh, ColourPop lipstick. Well, it's the metallic ones in the color Zebra. Today's my first time using it and I really like it. I can't believe I didn't use it before. Um, yeah, so this is a look that I filmed. I cannot believe what a mess my hair is. This is the look that I filmed. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it? Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to start with a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadow and my glitter. And I'm just going to put a little bit on both sides of my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and just blend that all out. I'm not going to rub it because I don't want it to rub off. I'm just going to blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350M. It's the 350 matte palette. I'm going to go in with these three colors right here and mix them and put them into my crease for my transition color. And I'm just using the M441 brush and I'm just going to blend and blend. Next, going in with the same palette, I'm going to use those four colors and also blend them into my crease using the same brush. I'm just going in with the clean blending brush here just to clean everything out, no product. And next, I'm going in with this Kajol Black Waterline Eyeliner. I'm just going to messily put it on the top of my waterline. It's more so my lashes, when they stay, they don't look crazy because I'm not putting any liner on today. Here comes the thumb part. I'm going in with the Eye Candy Caramel Apple Glitter and I'm using their liquid sugar as the glue. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid, not in my crease at all, just a little bit on my lid. And yes, I'm putting it over the liner. Like I said, the liner is more for my lashes. It's not really for the makeup. And this is my favorite glitter from Eye Candy because I just feel like it goes with any makeup look. I love it. And I'm going to go back in with that clean blending brush just to clean any glitter that I got in my crease out. And I am so excited to be using my Dodo Lashes. These are the $5 Mink Lashes in D115. And I'm using the House of Lashes glue. I seriously love the lashes. And I do have a code. I'll link it down below. I'll save you a couple bucks off the already super affordable lashes. Next, I'm going to go in with my matte um, Fit Me Poreless Concealer from Maybelline. This is my go-to drugstore concealer, and I love it. And remember that pimple I showed you earlier? We're just going to cover it up. It's like it's not even there. And I'm using my Morphe M439 brush just to buff everything out. And I did spray my brush with Mario Badescu Rose Water like I normally do, and I also sprayed my face before it just to prime it. Now I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I love this concealer. It's my favorite concealer. It's full coverage but super lightweight and that's what I love about it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it under my eyes, my forehead, my nose and cover up any blemishes and then I'm going to go and blend everything out with a damp beauty blender. This is Morphe's 9C palette. I'm using it just to set my under eye and everywhere else I put the concealer. And I'm using those four colors that I blended my brush out with. Then I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Finishing Powder. I just wanna look matte. I don't wanna look dewy and my skin is already kinda of oily anyway, so this always helps. Using this Morphe G37 brush, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's one of my favorite bronzers, not only because of the smell, but because I love the color it gives my skin. It's just like that perfect sun-kissed look, and I love the contour. I accidentally put a little too much contour on my forehead, but don't worry, I'm going to go ahead and blend all that out. <laughs> and I'm just contouring the places I want my face to look more defined. Next, I'm going to use my highlight, my favorite part. I'm going in with MAC's Oh Darling. I love how highlighted it makes my face look. 
and I'm spraying my Morphe M501 brush with my Mario Badescu Rose Water just to pick that highlight up a little bit more. I just highlighted my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose for now, um, and the tip of my nose because I'll go in with more highlight after. I'm using my favorite blush. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay, the captivating color. I love it. I'm just going to put it on the apples in my cheeks and give myself that summery blushed look. I did want this look to be a clean look so I am going to do a little bit of baking and I'm just going in with the Ben Nye translucent powder. Using that same eyeliner from earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and do my waterline just to make my eyes look a little more almond shape. And then I'm going to go back in with those same four colors I used in my crease and shade a little bit underneath my waterline. Just so I can give myself not really a smoked out look, but just more detailed. So I'm going to go in and highlight a little more with my MAC Soft and Gentle. And yes, I did my brows. Um, I have a video on how to do my brows where I show you all the time. But if you want a more detailed video, like I say, you can always let me know and I'll definitely be happy to make that for you. I went in with Soft and Gentle. I didn't spray anything on it um, just because I had sprayed some before and I didn't want to be like overly highlighted. And I'm using it just on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my inner corner highlight, and my brow bone highlight. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Ugh, I just love all the highlight, especially for summer. It's so great. So as I was cleaning my baking off, I realized I didn't really like how highlighted my nose was. It was just a little bit too highlighted for me. So I just went on my foundation brush and touched it up a little to kind of calm that highlight down. <laughs> Next, I'm using the Metallic Ultra Lip from ColourPop. It's in the color Zebra. And I actually really, really loved it. I can't really explain the color too much. I just know it's like a bronze. I don't know, like berry bronze. I just thought it would be perfect for this look. So this is the finished look you guys. I was actually really happy with how it came out. I love the glitter, I love the contour, I love the bronze lips, I love everything about it. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And let us know what else you like to see. We love you guys and thank you so much for the support. And stay tuned for our next video. Thanks! Bye!